Oh, you and I. Oh, my. I got lots of pinky. You make references to things I've never heard of. I don't know what we're doing. What is this situation we're looking at here? It's like an X-pipe that... With a thing. It's actually what we call our switch fire. Whoa. Tune our exhaust systems like a pipe organ. We're super stoked to work with Borla. Their bread and butter is like bolt-on applications for normal cars that you probably own. You talking to me? Do you think when we said let's do something, they thought a thousand horsepower, party mobile, four seats? No. It's on the ground. We actually took it to SEMA. Oh, oh. It's early. Plug and pray. The masterpiece. What's good, dog? Daniel! Stick your finger in this! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Didn't see you there. No, I'm just out here today. I'm helping Subi for him out. There's a lot to fix, right, Subi? What would we do without him? Oh, oh, close one. If you'll notice, I haven't been around. Because I'm not a builder, I'm a bolt-on boy. And this is about as far from a bolt-on boy build as you can humanly possibly get. That's not bought. No. That's not bought. No. Did no. you buy the cap or did yeah. No, we bought the cap. Wait, you guys made this? Holy shit. That was a Mr. Grimm thing. Why are you putting literally everything that I've made? Oh, you made all that stuff? I'm impressive. a box expert. Box expert, box. fueled by the hatred box. of the rest box. of us. Three boxes. Dan came in, he whipped these up. Dan did come in yesterday and did the thermal tech on it. It's actually a really nice touch. We got the Hellcat Red Eye Tribute right here. Oh, yes. Look at yes. that. That's pretty sick. So you guys just took some standard mesh, yep. took the headlight out, give that thing some fresh air. Scott had it laying around. He, he stole some speaker covers from his house. So that's what that is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> speaker grills from Scott's house. You guys have made some crazy progress on this thing. It's going to Borla on Monday. They haven't even seen it. I yeah. have not seen it. We just gotta get ready. We fired up yesterday. Wow. I know, I missed that. Did I missed miss the it? fire up. It was devastating. So sidetrack. Alright, so Paul Giamatti has been making us some boxes. Uh, you guys have a lot to do before this goes to Borla? Because Borla is going to make the exhaust for this thing. We just finished up the exhaust manifold, but now they have downturns and they're towards the middle of the car. Right? So those two are done. And then now we're going to kind of redo the fill neck because now there's gas in there. Wait, is that intercooler piping you're using as a fill neck? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so real quick, they said they fired the car up last night. I don't think we have the ECU that we're eventually gonna be running yet. So we did a little parts borrowing. Um, the ECU is... Now mind you, that's not Chevy. That says Chevy. That's a Holly ECU. It will work on this. And eventually we're using a different Holly ECU. We're using a Dominator. Okay. That is the Terminator. All I right. mean, seriously, who cares what they do? Terminator, Dominator. <laughs> anyway. This thing has to go off to Borla. I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna work on it. Soupy and Grim are gonna do all the real work. Wait a minute, and then I can show you exactly what's going on. I'm not gonna explain it before I even can explain it. Guard, all the time, safety glasses. I hope this doesn't break. Is that supposed to be like that? Yeah. I am so smart. Hammer, real genius. Big brain. Make dry break work. Now I will, after I hammer just a little bit more. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost a pinky. Oh my God, I lost a pinky. There's no sympathy at all here. I went like this, and I pushed my skin into the collector. Why would you do that? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> I work on cars, I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it just like that. Soupy doesn't like post hardcore, he's lame. Terry, it's like you speak a different language. You make references to things that I've never heard of. Like, why would anyone reference you? There you go. Let's see if we can get it in the damn car. It kind of looks like a cocktail shaker. What? Holy Moses, look at that. I think it looks like a cocktail shaker. It's a little hot. Got the drive right. Are we going to fold NASCAR pit stop at the bird car? <laughs> this thing rolls in. Well, yeah, right with the drive. And Vin comes in with a can. <laughs> Vin's on the impact. He's switching tires. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just cross frame all. Can. When we lose the drive brake, mm -hmm. you know, the filler, we can just simply take it out and just fill it out. 
See how much you guys can do when none of us are around? It's so much nicer. Easier way to do. Soupy, is there an easier way? He's struggling. Yes. Oh. Why would they design it so bad? Okay, yeah, you don't have to pull that much. It's a great when you had two people. We should put more on it because this is stupid as f Who would do this? We got a bunch of dirty cars. So we partnered up with Chemical Guys, and today I'm using Meticulous Matte Auto Wash. Wash your matte ride with super slick, slippery car wash suds. It's good for matte finishes. It also works on gloss, like this. Easily breaks down dirt and grime for a great finish. Pairs well with the foam cannon, foam blaster, or traditional bucket. Chemical Guys make products to clean and protect your ride. Scratch-free microfiber wash mat. Here we go. That's how you wash a car. Chemical Guys have their own retail store called Detail Garage. They offer detailing classes at all of their locations where they teach you how to detail. It's all over the USA, Canada, and the UK. It's even available at Walmart, O'Reilly's, and AutoZone. If you can't make it to any of the stores, you can find it on Amazon. Check out their social media for tips and pointers on how to wash your car. Check out their social media for oddly satisfying before and afters. <laughs> Guys, dude. Are we ready to go? Yeah, get ready. Welcome. Monday oh, morning. Yeah. Here doing again. yeah, it's going to pull it. There's really not much to explain. Tony's getting the goddamn forklift. We're gonna push it out the door onto the trailer. It's going to bore us so we don't have to bake the exhaust anymore. Tony's gonna run over that strip. Ah. Uh. Did anybody tighten the wheel? Where are we going? What is the point? I don't know what we're doing. You gotta turn it around. Nah, it's good, it's good. Nah, that don't look good. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh my god. Tony. Tony, enough. Oh, oh. Whoa. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Who the hell tied the knot? That's why you need to learn how to tie a goddamn knot. We just push. You cracked. I'm getting out of here before the thing comes apart again. Well, let's get a uh, let's get a wrap on. off the boiler. Oh, 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 oh. It's always a good day when we're not in the shop. So we took a trip up here to Oxnard, the Borless headquarters. These guys, they're all right at building stuff. They're decent fabricators. We figure we'll give these guys a day off. Oh, how generous. I mean, you're still at work, but you don't have to build anything today. Okay, so we can watch other people build stuff. Yeah. Already got the rolls up on the rack. Wait, when did we drop this off? Yesterday. Two days, two days ago. Oh, they already got a lot of stuff going on. You know what? They're going too fast. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What is this? This is crazy. What is this situation we're looking at here? It's an X-pipe. But it's like an X-pipe that- With a thing. That thing? Only does like half? I don't know how that works. We gotta get someone who knows a thing or two. Tracy. Yes. Hey. hey. How are you? What are we looking at here? This is actually our polyphonics that we use. It's pretty. What? Polyphonics. Polyphonics. 
Yes. So yeah, what is that? It's like a half of an X-pipe? So it's actually what we call our switch fire. Very metal. Very metal. We actually hold the patents on it. It's switch fire technology, and it is exactly what you just saw. It actually has polyphonics into it here, and then we have the X-pipe configuration in it, which actually makes the pulses cancel themselves out. Oh wow, that's so cool. So that's a lot different than a traditional X-pipe where they just kind of like merge together for a second. Absolutely, we're stoked about it. It does really, really good. Damn, well I'm excited to hear how this thing sounds. Yeah, that X-pipe's really cool. That's super unique. It makes more power than a standard X-pipe and it sounds much better. What is an X-pipe and why? Well, an X-pipe is used for two purposes. One is for power. It has something to do with the pulsing of the motor, basically firing order. It makes it sound a lot smoother. Well, that's the second connects, thing, right? And so if you have two individual banks of the engine and you have a dual exhaust, it's like having two separate exhaust systems. So the pulsing is really dodgy and kind of choppy. It so, has that like Bodhi sound. Yeah, it has a Bodhi sound too. You can really hear the individual firing. Not something car guys like really. By putting a little bit of a crossover in there, it kind of blends the pulse together it makes it a little bit smoother we said can we come up with an x-pipe that makes more power than a standard x-pipe also sounds better or different had all of our design guys come up with ideas and we built a whole bunch of different x-pipe ideas crazy things and we tested it on the flow bench we tested it you know, with our dyno and, and this one just kept beating everything else that's until awesome power and sound yeah it looks what? so unique get out how wild is that that's like a DNA double helix pipe. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is some science. Yes, yeah, science! Back in the day, if you wanted something loud, you just straight piped it. There was no expectation of, of it to sound good in the cabin or anything. They just wanted it to sound great outside. And over time, they wanted a good sound inside. And I think that was really sort of the, where the market moved because now you needed some real technology in the muffler to be able to do that. It wasn't right. just loud for the sake of being loud. Yeah. And I'll say, I'm the first one to say, I think straight pipe cars sound horrible. Yeah. Most of the time, put a muffler on a template. Mm -hmm. and that's really why we developed our polyphonics technology is because it allows us to use the straight pipe technology but we can change the you know and vary the diameters and still have all the flow through right and that really takes care of that straight pipe issue there are a lot quite quite a few uh, applications these days where we don't have any mufflers it's just polyphonics wow really so mm -hmm. we do offer it for the t-rex we offer it for the Mustang. The end users really love just putting our X-pipe in and leaving the rear section the way it is. Okay. Most guys want the whole thing, but some guys just want to get rid of that front muffler. The coolest thing about it is just how well it works. Uh, how it's going to terminate? Is it just going to be turned downs here? Or are we no, going, it's going straight out the back. Straight out the back. Yeah. I love it. I can't wait to see it done. I'm excited to see what they do with the muffler system back here. Right. Oh. I can do the classic. Ooh. So that's the split rear. Jason, you want to show them the, the side exit too? Whoa! Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hello. Yo, the exposed collector. There's something in the middle there that tunes out the sound. The polyphonic harmonizer amplifies certain frequencies. It's all about bringing out the good stuff. My dad always used to tell me growing up, tune our exhaust systems like a pipe organ. It's the length and diameter of pipe that changes the note. Even on a short piece, if you vary these diameters, you can get different notes out of it. I know enough about music that I sort of understand the relationship between notes, how you make a chord on a guitar or on a, on a piano or whatever. So do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, so do and fa. So the relationship between the root note and the fifth is always the same from a mathematical perspective on the pipes. We're using that those same formulas to vary these diameters. That's more syllables than I've ever seen in exhaust <laughs> technology in my yeah, life. That's it's wild. I just made exhaust. a comment to Alex that uh, looking at this business superficially, there isn't much to it, but there's a lot of intricacy to this thing. Yeah, there's a lot of layers. I, honestly, my mind is kind of blown. Uh, even thinking about diameters and how that diameter changes and the different shapes on the tip, does that affect anything? Sure, of you? course, yeah. The material changes. The material. Right. So like we geek out on, you know, titanium exhaust on, let's say, an M3, you know, that gives it a certain note. It does. Every dollar you spend, you get that. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. All right, so we, it's either we leave or you guys are gonna have to weld this exhaust. Oh, lunch, I, 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 lunch, I like lunch. I, I'm, I'm, Let's get out of here. Ballast boys, assemble. But yeah, big shout out to Borla for having us over. It's so cool to see all the tech behind all this, but we're gonna let them get back to work. We're gonna get to work on some sandwiches or something like that. Look at that. We got these hands. Look at these. Look. <laughs>
Let's get out of here. Come on. That's the lucky video. That's the lucky video. Come on. That's the lucky video. That's the lucky video. That's the lucky video. That's crazy to hear. Shut the door up! That sounds good. <laughs>